Hi everyone, today I'm going to do some printing for a project, a little quilt that I'm making as part of a quilt challenge and the theme is not quite straight so what I'm going to be doing is doing firstly some background printing just to give myself some surfaces to work on then I'm going to be taking my masking tape uh, this is a painter's tape so it's a low tack tape um, which I'll be using on my plate to make some interesting uh, stripes to go with the theme. I also have a range of paints, uh, just some fairly strong colours. I've got a burnt umber and a cool yellow. I've also got a bright orange vermilion and an even brighter uh, fluoro colour paint. The details of all of these will be down below in the show notes. So let's get into it. This is the last of my yellow background prints and I'll do some more um, printing over the top of these when they're dry. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to put my masking tape on my jelly plate and then we're going to do some uh, ink it over and then I'm going to print. So. I can just use the tape in a couple of ways. Given that my theme is not quite straight, I'm thinking that I will put them at slight angles. You also want to just leave a little bit of overlap over the edge of your plate because you want to be able to easily get this off your plate after you've finished printing. So have a rough measure, have a bit of a go, stick it down. Um, the reason I'm using this low tack painters tape is that I don't want to get sticky residues unnecessarily on my jelly plate. So again, just going to keep doing a little bit more. Not too worried about um, spacing. It can be as random as you like as far as I'm concerned here. Uh, it will just be interesting to see how it goes. And as I'm going to cut them up for a quilting project, not everything has to be perfect and the spacing I think will be much more interesting if there's different distances between them and I'm even thinking I might fill in a gap or two with some smaller pieces we'll see I've got a couple of uh, backgrounds I can play with so I'll be doing different things each time I use them Alright, just about ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is pull the tapes off Pick up your background and carefully put it down over those stripes. I always love this, you can see it coming through. I'm just going to um, use my cloth to help smooth it down and get rid of that excess paint. Just try and make sure that I have good contact all the way across. 
my fabric. There we go, some amazing bright stripes. Okay, let's get this happening. Phthalo blue is a really strong colour, no matter what type of paint you are using. And so I must say I tend normally to be a bit careful about how I use it. But in this instance, I think that's going to be to our advantage. Just grab my piece of yellow fabric. Oops, better take the tape off first. theme of our quilting project today is actually influenced by an Australian artist called Geoffrey Smart whose autobiography is entitled Not Quite Straight and he was known for painting industrial scenes and also uh, street signs with very hard edges. I'll put a link below but that's why we're doing this just to have a look at a bit of a Geoffrey Smart influenced project. This is where Thalo Blue is an advantage rather than a disadvantage. I've got very good coverage on this, on those blues. You can see how strongly it's coming through the back of the fabric. Yeah, brilliant uh, bold stripes there. Well, that's wrapping up the printing for today. I've just got to do some tidying up and then I'll be getting on to making my little mini quilt. So I'll be showing you that in the next step.